Hi, welcome to my home. My name is Kathy, and in today's video we're going to be canning up some pork loin. Now normally I would do raw pack on this, but today I'm going to do a, a little bit of a pre-cook on it, and I'm going to pack it in au jus so it can be used for many different dishes um, once we're all done. So let's get started. Now the first thing I'm going to do is get the pork loin cut up in about, oh, just chunky, about one inch chunks. Um, I have most of it already cut up. I'm just going to cut up this last piece. Now I am not worrying about the fat that's on it. That's just going to add flavor. This is 13, just a little over 13 pounds. Um, I have seven quart sized jars that are cleaned. Um, you don't need to sterilize your jar, they, jars, they just need to be cleaned. So those are clean and drying on my rack. And I have two baking sheets over here lined with some aluminum foil. I'm going to put these in the oven at 350 for probably about 30 minutes just until they they slightly cook. Now that that's cut up, I'll go ahead and get them, get it laid out onto my baking sheets here. Now I had gotten these, the, um, this pork loin on sale at my local grocery store quite a while ago. Actually, I forgot all about it, and this last week while I was Digging around in my freezer, I found it at the bottom of the freezer, so I figured I needed to get it out and get it canned up. Just want to get this kind of on a even layered out on my pan. I don't want it stacked. Put more over here. That's pretty even on both pans. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get this in the oven and once it's done pre-cooking I'll bring it back and we'll get to the next step. Now while the pork loin is in the um, oven roasting a little bit I'm going to be getting my canner and my jars already um, and my, my canning station all set up so that when they the meat comes out of the oven, I'll be ready to get it in the jars and in the canner. Okay, so my meat is done cooking. It went for about a half hour and then I just left it in the hot oven until I had everything else set up. It's not fully cooked, um, it is just par cooked and that's exactly how I want it. Um, in this pot here I have a gallon and a half of au jus and I'll be using that as my liquid and it's nice and hot and the water in my canner is also hot. So everything's going to be hot because um, we're doing a hot pack today. Um, since I have limited space on my counter here, I'm going to go ahead and put this meat back in the bowl that I had it in before. I did wash the bowl um, so it'll be um, 
getting the meat out of the bowl to put into the jars just to make it a little bit easier. So I'm going to go ahead and get the meat in the bowl and then I'll bring you in close so you can see the process. Okay, first we're going to start with filling our jars with meat. I'm going to leave a one inch head space. Inch is right here at that first ring on your jar. And next I'm going to fill it with the au jus. And again, leaving that one inch headspace. I'm going to take my debubbler and get all the air out. I'm going to take a paper towel dipped in white vinegar and I'm going to wipe my rim. Whenever you're working with meat, um, you want to use vinegar for cleaning the rim because you don't want, you know, you want to make sure you get any fats off of there um, and any food debris. You want to make sure you have a nice um, tight seal for your lid and as you're feeling um, and, and cleaning the rim, it also gives you another opportunity to make sure that your um, the rim of your jar doesn't have any mix or chips in it. So now that that's cleaned, I'll go ahead and put my lid on and a ring, finger tight, and into the canner. And I'll just repeat this process until all of my jars are filled. Okay, so all of the jars are in the canner. That was seven quarts. Um, I've got my lid on. It's tightened down. Now I'm going to bring up the, um, the heat on my canner. And once I have a steady stream of steam coming out of the little port here, the little vent, then I will let that vent for 10 minutes um, and you want it to be venting you know pretty hard for that 10 minutes so I'll let it vent for 10 minutes I will put on my my weight um, for my altitude um, I will be um, canning this at 15 pounds of pressure and once I put the weight on I'll adjust the, the heat um, while this comes up to pressure once my dial gauge comes up to um, the pressure and my weight starts to jiggle, I'll start the timer for 90 minutes. Since these are quarts, we will be processing these today at 90 minutes. Um, if it were pints, then I would only need to do it for 75 minutes, but again, these are quarts, so it'll be for 90 minutes. Once that process is done, I'll bring you back and show you the final product. Okay, so the 90 minutes is up. I've turned off the heat and now I'm going to let the canner just sit here until it comes all the way down to pressure on its own. I'm going to leave my weighted gauge on because you don't want to release that while you still have pressure in your canner or um, you could have severe siphoning of your jars and it's just not safe. So <laughs> don't recommend it. You'd have a lot of hot steam and possible liquid, liquid coming out of your vent all at one time um, so that it would be very hot and not a safe thing to do. So 
we're going to let this come all the way down to um, zero pressure on its own. Once that's done, then I'll be able to take off the lid and get the jars out of the canner. Okay, so the jars have finished processing. I let the, um, the pressure come down to zero. I took off the lid, let it sit for a few minutes. They're in here pinging away. So now it's time to get them out of the canner and onto the counter. And when you pull your jars out, you want to make sure that you put them on uh, some type of a pad or a, a towel um, so that they're not sitting directly on the counter. You don't want a lot of drastic temperature changes. And it's also good to leave a little bit of space in between the jars so that there's even temperature around them and you know no drafts or anything like that. That way they have a nice consistent temperature that they can just cool down and seal up. So there you have it. We have seven jars of canned pork chunks in au jus, ready to be used for tacos or pork stew or whatever you can imagine using it for. So in the comments, please let me know what you would use the pork chunks for. Well, I hope you found today's video helpful. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing and be sure to hit that bell icon to be notified each time I put out a new video. Well, until next time, I hope you have an amazing day and we'll see you on the next video. Bye now.